Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on so you never miss a video and while you're down give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now I'm getting really close to hitting my goal of 6.5k here on YouTube and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe. I really want to hit this goal before the end of the month so let's do that. Today I'm talking about my eating disorder recovery, but more specifically how eating disorder services help me. So I was around the age of 17 when I was under eating disorder services and I was under them because I was anorexic. I've never been under them while I've been diagnosed with EDNOS. So when was I first introduced to eating disorder services? The first introduction I had into eating disorder services was through CAMS and CBT. My CBT therapist decided that I needed more help with my eating disorder than I did self-harm. Because my self-harm has never been that serious. Not to downplay it, but it's never been lethal, apart from once. But back then my self-harm was very minimal. So she referred me to eating disorder services, who took me under, because I was underweight, dangerously underweight, my BMI was 13.2. They referred me to do CBTE, which is Cognitive Behaviour Therapy Eating Disorders, which I did. And that whole thing really got me to think about my th what I ate, why I was afraid of food, and why I was scared of gaining weight. It addressed all those, and it really helped. And what else did they do? Oh yeah, they got me to do a food diary every week. I had weekly appointments. I was weighed every week. And I started to gain weight, which scared me to death. I was terrified, but I'm so glad I did. I didn't gain loads of weight, I just gained up to a healthy BMI. But of course, as you know, when I turned 18, in that following September, I went to university, which didn't help my eating disorder. I'd snack on crisps and chocolate. I still snack on crisps and chocolate. But when I moved to university, I was discharged from eating disorder services because in Preston you had to be underweight to be under eating disorder services. And I wasn't underweight anymore. So, yeah, that's kind of my experience with eating disorder services. I don't have any bad feelings towards them. I don't have any good feelings towards them. They saved me from a hospital admission, I guess. But yeah, that's my experience. Thank you for watching, and if you're new, subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.